go. Mm -hmm. I could live off snacks. Snacks are Me my too. jam. Yes. <laughs> I mean, that's a, a girl dinner pretty much, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's snacks. what the cool kids are calling it now, the girl that's dinner. That's what the cool kids. That's <laughs> yeah. me, Josh. That's yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. uh, good weather for <laughs> events and things, right? Uh, yeah, you can take your girl dinner outside and uh, enjoy the, the coastal spots, too. Also seeing some cloud coverage and comfortable temperatures. These folks having a little bit of fun out at the swing set in Seaside as the cloudy conditions still remain here across the coast. But maybe you happen to have a fun activity that you've done today or over the weekend you can scan the qr code on your screen that will direct you to coin.com where we can continue the conversation over there we got a few clouds starting to push their way over the government camp area where temperatures still on the comfortable side at about 63 right now and we're seeing some of that cloud coverage also push its way through parts of the willamette valley mcminnville just a little bit shy of 80 degrees with very calm winds. After our daytime highs in places like Salem managed to get up into the low 80s, we flirted with 80 degrees out towards the Portland airport. We could potentially tip the scale and hit 80 degrees here in the next 30 minutes to an hour as our average daytime high temperature should be hovering in the upper 70s. But if you're planning on going out for a bike ride this evening, your showers past forecast gives you the green bikes to go as our temperatures slide back into the mid 70s. Later this evening and the clouds still racing above our heads, but we are all in preparation for some fun fall activities in the coming days. 10 days now from the fall equinox that marks the equal amount of daylight and overnight hours as Halloween quickly approaches within 50 day stretch and Christmas Day almost 100 days away. Now with all of this fall like talk, we got to wait for our cooler temperatures to help flip over a lot of the trees. We expect to see the peak fall foliage over parts of the Cascades of central Washington by about September 25th to the beginning of October. But much of the I-5 quarter in the Willamette Valley doesn't get underway with the peak fall foliage until about the middle of October to the end. As our latest front gives us a sign of the fall like weather with those cooler conditions and and the cloudy skies, but very little rainfall with the exception of some spots around the Longview Kelso area. Battleground may be picking up on a stray raindrop or two, but nothing accumulative. For the most part, we stay on the dry side. As our latest weakening front continues to march its way across the shoreline, we do see high pressure starting to build and in turn that will really help to warm and dry out our skies, returning the sunshine. And it also is the driving factor of pushing the jet stream further to the north into the central regions of Canada that that allows enough space for us here in Western Oregon and Washington to really start to build up our heat. The latest little summer hurrah, I guess you could say, as we get back up into the 90s as the skies still remain mostly cloudy tonight, seeing some clearing by the mid morning hours tomorrow. Sunshine takes over again by the afternoon hours, and that will really help us to start to warm things back up. But the peak heat doesn't come until we have another sunny day on Thursday. And then that eventually brings back those 90s by the time we press our way into Friday. So here's our forecasted highs for the end of the week. The top row, the bottom row, that's where our current records hold steady. We could be flirting, if not threatening, some of these records here in the coming days. But I really don't think we'll be tying or breaking them as near normal temperatures are expected for much of the Columbia River Gorge and parts of the Willamette Valley above normal. The further east you go as near normal precip amounts are very likely, but that doesn't mean much for the month of September, typically our third driest month of the year. But for our coastal temperatures tomorrow, 60s and 70s for us, the I-5 quarter expecting to get back up into the 80s, and our seven-day forecast does show the warmer days are upon us. Come Thursday into Friday and eventually Saturday, cooling back off into the mid-80s. But then those mid 70s once again returning by the start of next week so we can make it through these next few hotter than normal days. Mm -hmm. We've already seen our fair share of the summer heat this year. Yeah, fall officially officially starts. Uh, I think it's what two Saturdays the from 23rd. the 23rd. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, we're ready. Yeah. yeah, I think we're ready. Mm -hmm. Well, Portland artist Mike 